Hey, what up? What up? Boy, Tyrone again. And guess what? We're going to do the most popular guy on my channel, George Carr. Going to give you another George Carr video. Seems like he does the best on my platform, George is King. And of course, I'm going to get hit on it, but. I'm gonna give the people that love my channel what they love. So, right now, I got a clip of George Carlin, our owners. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on the bottom, and we'll get more of what you want. And my channel, they seem to love George, and it is what it is. So, I got a clip, without further ado, no more talk, let's get to George, it's the last video for the weekend, and we're gonna get to it now. Let's get with George. Life is filled with interesting things. That's why I could never commit suicide. I'm having too much fun. Keeping an eye on you folks. Watching what you do. Human behavior. That's what I like. Humans do some really interesting things. Like besides killing ourselves, we also kill each other. <laughs> Murder. And we're the only ones who do that, by the way. Humans are the only species on Earth that deliberately kills members of another species for personal gain. Or pleasure. Sometimes it's just fun. We're also the only species that deliberately kills members of another species for personal gain or pleasure. That's what hunters do. They kill for pleasure. That's us, human beings, interesting folks, murderers. Here's an interesting form of murder we came up with, assassination. You know what's interesting about assassination? Well, not only does it change those popularity polls in a big fucking hurry, but it's also interesting to notice who it is we assassinate. Did you ever notice who it is? Stop to think of who it is we kill. It's always people who've told us to live together in harmony and try to love one another. Jesus, Gandhi, Lincoln, John Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, John Lennon. They all said, try to live together peacefully. Bam! <laughs> right in the fucking head. Apparently, we're not ready for that. Yeah, that's difficult behavior for us. Not too bright, folks. Not too fucking bright. But if you talk to one of them about this, if you isolate one of them, you sit them down rationally, and you talk to them about the low IQs and the dumb behavior and the bad decisions, right away they start talking about education. That's the big answer to everything. Education. They said, we need more money for education. We need more, more, more books, more teachers, more classrooms, more schools. Uh, we need more testing for the kids. You say to them, well, you know, we've tried all of that, and the kids still can't pass the test. They say, oh, don't you worry about that. We're going to lower the passing grades. And that's what they do in a lot of these schools now. They lower the passing grades yes, so more do. kids can pass. More kids pass. The school looks good. Everybody's happy. The IQ of the country slips another two or three points. And pretty soon, all you'll need to get into college is a fucking pencil. Got a pencil? Get the fuck in there. It's physics. <laughs> then everyone wonders why 17 other countries graduate more scientists than we do. Education! Politicians know that word. They use it on you. Politicians have traditionally hidden behind three things. The flag, the Bible, and children. No child left behind. No child left behind. Oh, really? Well, it wasn't long ago you were talking about giving kids a head start. Head start, left behind. Someone's losing fucking ground here. <laughs> But there's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason for this. There's a reason education sucks. And it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never going to get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The big, re the wealthy, the real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. They're, they're, they're an irrelevant. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. <laughs> you have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They've got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media, media news, all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. 
They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. You know something? They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table and figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers workers, people who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it and now they're coming for your social security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. <laughs> you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club. And by the way, it's the same big club they used to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long beating you over the head in their media telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people, white collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good, honest, hard-working people continue. These are people of modest means. Continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all. At all. At all. Man. You know? And nobody seems to notice, nobody seems to care. That's what the owners count on, the fact that Americans will probably remain willfully ignorant of the big red, white, and blue dick that's being jammed up their assholes every day. Because the owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. But say what you want about American folks. Yeah. You can uh, say what you want about Americans. You can call them smart, dumb, ignorant, innocent, naive, gullible, easily led, whatever you want. You're going to have to deal with them. You're going to have to deal with them because you're in the television business now. You got the All Suicide Channel on cable. Yeah, that is George Carlin, everybody. Wow. You know, George has always been the type of dude that says what he says and means what he means. And always um, been very progressive. Man of his time. Lord, I would love to have seen him around now talking about what's going on right now in the, in the world today. And what's going on in our own little neck of the woods. But I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you guys had a great week ahead. And we'll be back next week. Hopefully. Uh, we will. And I will see you guys right back here for some more videos. Hey, drop us some, a line and tell me what else you want to see besides George. And we'll do our best to get it here and react to it. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great weekend. I mean, have a great week, everybody. Peace.